Alrighty guys, welcome back. Uh, just got to our little uh, spot here and uh, as you can see we got a little bit of snow but most of it melted a couple days ago. As you can see in my other video we had lots of snow but uh, yeah it got really warm. We got like 80 millimeters of rain, there was flooding, all sorts of crazy stuff. Melted it but it's starting to snow now slowly and um, I'm gonna get a fire going. I'm gonna cook some breakfast. I think I brought some oatmeal. Make some coffee. And uh, just take the late morning, early afternoon to relax. See you guys in a bit. Alright, so I'm on the hunt for some birch bark. And there's a couple good sized birch trees right here. Around here, we're very fortunate enough that there's usually there's at least one birch everywhere. So you'll be able to find fire starting material. No matter what, especially when it's cold, I'm not going to dick around trying to find different uh, tinder material. Oh, there's a better one here. I know there's one that was just losing all its bark. Okay. And actually taking the tree's bark does not hurt it as long as you don't go into the inner bark. There's a hard woody inner bark. And as long as you don't go into that, the tree is safe. Take some of this. I like taking quite a bit, a couple different trees, and then I just stockpile it and then I don't have to walk every time I want to come get tinder. Looks like somebody grabbed some off this already. Well, I need both hands here guys, so I'll see you back at the camp. Okay, so I got my bark, and I got some twigs. My hands are cold, so I'm not gonna screw around too much with a ferro rod. So, my automatic ferro rod. It's a new invention. Everybody should get one of these. Don't want to add it too quick. I don't know how wet this is. I got lots of birch bark to spare. So, if it decides that it doesn't want to burn, Everything kind of has a layer of ice because it did rain and then freeze, so it kind of makes it a little tougher. As you can see, right here, we got a good stack of firewood. It's all dry and kind of stacked under some more damp stuff, so the good stuff doesn't get too uh, too wet. Okay, well I'm gonna get this going and I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, so fire's going nicely now. I had to warm my hands up for a bit there. Made my uh, just a little something under this log to hold the pot. Might need to adjust it once I get the pot on there, but. For now, it'll stay there. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna get uh, some coffee and some breakfast on the brew here. So I got my little bag. Got my instant coffee. No cowboy coffee today. 
wasn't feeling it. There. Fair cup. Grab my water bottle. That's not too bad. There we go. So for my pot holder, I have a stump there holding up this uh, dead piece of pine. And uh, it just so happened how we cut it, it's perfect to hang my pot off. So get that, that come to a boil, and then I can get a, some breakfast, because I am hungry. Last time I was out, I was visited by a, a weasel, other also known as an ermine. They turn white in the winter and uh, brown in the summer. They're pure white with a white little spot on their tail. And he was a curious little guy. His home is just behind the camera here. And uh, back in the 18th century and uh, beginning of the 19th century, their pelts were actually used for the queen's robes. That's why you see the traditional queen's robes it's all white with the black specks. That's actually their tails that you see in the black. Um, it was actually also up here anyway, if you were part of the Northwest Company or the Hudson's Bay Company, you were, it would, they were actually illegal to, to trap unless you were appointed by the, the king or the queen or whatever. Because their pelts were primarily used for royalty. But nowadays their pelts are used for high fashion and stuff of that nature. I'll see you guys in a bit. I'm just gonna wait for this to boil, and I don't. I'm not gonna bore you guys with endless facts about randomness. Okay, so, so I'll see you guys in a bit. Fire. The water has come to a. The fire has come to a boil. The water has come to a boil. Should take that baby off. There. I'm just gonna put this guy out of the way so I'm not banging my head on it. And I'm just going to grab my uh, other cup, so I can have my oatmeal and my coffee. Get some of the grossness out of there. Okay, so just instant oatmeal. measuring cup because I do not like soggy oats. And my uh, instant coffee probably see me use this. A lot of people use these. They're great for just quick, easy, and they don't taste all that half bad either. Try to find some level ground here.
do its thing. Enjoy some coffee. Oh yeah. It's not too bad today, the weather, it's uh, a little bit of snowing, sun's trying to peak out, about minus 5 Celsius. But uh, next week we're going to get nailed pretty good with the cold, we're going to get a highs of minus 18 degrees Celsius, I don't even know what that is in Fahrenheit. Yeah, I don't know, not in there. But that's usually normal for this time of year, but we've been really spoiled with uh, the warm warm weather, mild. I just wish there was more snow. Well, I got my oatmeal, got the fire, got a cup of coffee. Life is good folks. Can't be out in the woods here. Sun's finally coming out. Near the, the river in the background. Just a gorgeous day to be outside. chair, A-frame chair. Well, that was, uh, that oatmeal was really good on a cold day like this. But I have to say that, uh, coffee trumps that every day of the week. Yeah, this uh, forest that I'm in right now is actually part of a park system. And supposedly, a little farther down, that this area is actually haunted. So, that is something that is quite interesting. <laughs> I've never actually had an experience, but supposedly it's past the parking lot. Uh, there's a ghost of little uh, two little girls and this one that people have dubbed The Undertaker. Now, I don't know why, but supposedly he is not a very nice spirit. Now that I'm talking about it, I'm hearing things. Lots of gear here too, so. It'd be cool to see a deer. A friend of mine that was here said he's seen a wolf just behind over here. But, uh, the Undertaker, he's known to rip your steering wheel out of your hand as you're trying to leave the parking lot. That's happened to uh, somebody I know. Um, you know, the being followed, pushing, stuff like that. But I think we're far enough away from here, there because there is a swimming hole down in this river and people have died there in the past or have committed suicide. So. Let's knock on wood that nothing happens to me, and hopefully it does when I'm it's on camera. Not for my benefit, but for your guys'. But yeah, this is just a short little video. Just wanted to get out today, and I thought I would uh, turn the camera on and get some footage going. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. It was nothing too formal. I'm sure everybody knows how to make instant coffee and uh, instant oatmeal, but uh, that instant oatmeal is great to have, uh, and that instant coffee is awesome. I love the cowboy coffee, but that instant stuff is just way quicker. Boom, you got your coffee. Everything's there, your cream, your sugar. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If uh, you like what you see, please uh, like the video and subscribe, share it, that'd be great. And uh, see you next time. Thanks, guys.